Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. Um, today we will be talking about kidney disease. Um, first of all, um, does anyone remember what a kidney is or what its function is? What does a kidney do? Um, it's the organ that uh, filters the blood. Yes, it filters out the blood for extra fluids. Um, anything that it doesn't need. Um, it also produces uh, a lot of uh, a lot of hormones and um, vitamins that your body needs. It's an important it's, it's an it's an important organ in the body, and your body is a whole system. So a failure in one thing means the failure of the whole thing, basically. Unless it's like doesn't step that like, that's most likely the case. Um, we will, today we'll talk about how a, a kidney disease, which is basically the failure of the of the kidney. Um, we have a basic video just to get, to remind you guys what exactly the kidney does. Short. It's a hot day and you've just downed several glasses of water, one after the other. Behind the sudden urge that follows are two bean-shaped organs that work as fine-tuned internal sensors. They balance the amount of fluid in your body, detect waste in your blood, and know when to release the vitamins, minerals, and hormones you need to stay alive. Say hello to your kidneys. The main role of these organs is to dispose of waste products and to turn them into urine. The body's eight liters of blood pass through the kidneys between 20 and 25 times each day, meaning that together, these organs filter about 180 liters every 24 hours. The ingredients in your blood are constantly changing as you ingest food and drink, which explains why the kidneys need to be on permanent duty. Blood enters each kidney through arteries that branch and branch until they form tiny vessels that entwine with special internal modules called nephrons. In each kidney, one million of these nephrons form a powerful array of filters and sensors that carefully sift through the blood. This is where we see just how refined and accurate this internal sensing system is. To filter the blood, each nephron uses two powerful pieces of equipment, a blob-like structure called a glomerulus and a long stringy straw-like tubule. The glomerulus works like a sieve, allowing only certain ingredients, such as vitamins and minerals, to pass into the tubule. Then, this vessel's job is to detect whether any of those ingredients are needed in the body. If so, they're reabsorbed in amounts that the body needs so they can circulate in the blood again. But the blood doesn't only carry useful ingredients. It contains waste products too, and the nephrons have to figure out what to do with them. The tubules sense compounds the body doesn't need, like urea, left over from the breakdown of proteins, and redirects them as urine, out of the kidneys and through two long sewers called ureters. These tubes empty their contents into the bladder to be discharged, ridding your body of that waste once and for all. There's water in that urine too. If the kidney detects too much of it in your blood, for instance, when you've chugged several glasses at once, it sends the extra liquid to the bladder to be removed. On the other hand, low water levels in the blood prompt the kidney to release some back into the bloodstream, meaning that less water makes it into the urine. This is why urine appears yellower when you're less hydrated. By controlling water, your kidneys stabilize the body's fluid levels. But this fine balancing act isn't the kidney's only skill. These organs have the power to activate vitamin D to secrete a hormone called renin that raises blood pressure, and another hormone called erythropoietin, which increases red blood cell production. Without the kidneys, our bodily fluids would spiral out of control. Every time we ate, our blood would receive another load of unsifted ingredients. Soon, the buildup of waste would overload our systems and we'd expire. So each kidney not only keeps things running smoothly, it also keeps us alive. Lucky then that we have two of these magical beans.
Okay, so hopefully um, that was that gave you a refreshment of what the kidney does. Um, exactly. Um, all right. Um, question is, um, what could possibly go wrong? How could the kidney stop working? Would anybody would like to have a guess? Uh, alcohol. Sure, that could be one. What else? What would alcohol do? Alcohol um, makes the task uh, of separating waste for the kidneys extremely difficult. True, true. What else? I need Does anybody remember what renovascular disease is? Uh, renovascular disease is when uh, the artery is blocked. Yes, that could be one. That is one. That is one. That is one. That is one. Uh, anything else? Renovascular disease is when the artery is getting narrow. Yeah, when atherosclerosis happens, it's, atherosclerosis is one of the, the causes of renovascular disease. But it's in the, in the arteries now and blood cannot catch it. Uh, what else? How about I, I have a guess, but I don't know if it's correct. Go, go ahead. Maybe, go, uh, being, maybe like... Um, <laughs> Having the less vitamins or uh, having poor amounts of water can ruin your kidneys. Like, because I heard uh, a long time ago that, for example, uh, the people who uh, drink soft drinks too much, or uh, for example, they wake up in the morning and drink coffee, like without having um, some glass of water, it can ruin the kidneys. Yeah, dehydration, dehydration can have some damage. Uh, you have, your mic is not clear. Can you guys hear me? Hello? It's either Muhammad yeah. or Ryan. One of your mics is very um, scratchy. Yeah, it's not really It's Muhammad's. Oh, no. The scratches make his audio sometimes extremely low. Can you guys hear me now? Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, dehydration is one of the things that could possibly um, cause kidney damage. What else? Um, how about diabetes? Could, could that damage the kidneys? Uh, <laughs> Diabetes damages the pancreas. Pancreas produces waste, so maybe it can uh, damage it indirectly. Well, d diabetes happens because the pan pancreas has a problem. Okay. And Isn't then the kidneys uh, is who release the pancreas. Hmm? Are the kidneys uh, the thing that release the pancreas? Pancreas is an organ. Is an organ. Pa pancreas is the one that releases insulin. Oh, yeah, but, oh, I, uh, I read something wrong. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, so yeah, um, diabetes because um, the glucose level in your blood is too much um, can cause because the kidney has to deal with this aftermath of diabetes. It's actually one of the main causes of kidney problems. I guess we'll continue. There's a lot of uh, causes of this. There's a lot of causes. But as I said before, um, chronic kidney... Does anybody know what chronic means? Like it's, uh, it stays with you forever, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Gradual. It's not something that happens like that. Um, chronic kidney disease... Uh, or chronic kidney failure, as they may call it, or damage, the gradual loss of kidney function. 
the, fun the kidney does not function properly. As we said before, uh, your kidneys filter out waste and excess fluids from your body, which are then excreted in your urine. Uh, if kidney disease reaches an advanced stage, it can be life threatening. And because waste, because if, if your your kidney do not does not filter out um, the blood, all the wastes and excess fluids run around in your bloodstream, causing all kinds of problems. Such as, as something that we we had before is uh, atherosclerosis. Um, it, it increases the chance of it. So yeah. Okay, symptoms. Uh, symptoms of kidney disease include vomiting. Uh, vomiting because your body wants to. Uh, get, rid of, get rid of all of all of the waste in your blood and it can't do it through urine because your kidneys are not functioning properly so it, 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 it does it through your well mouth uh, not your vomiting loss of appetite why would loss of appetite be a symptom anyone Okay, um, you, you lose your appetite just because you have uh, so much in your blood that your body doesn't even know what it needs anymore. And yeah, fatigue and weakness, sleep problems, uh, changes in how much you urinate. I think this one's clear why. Anemia. Um, anemia is... Uh, become cold. What is anemia? Um... Uh, Oh yeah, anemia is uh, when the amount of red blood cells, like there's a lack of red blood cells that you need. Because what, what happens is, uh, is there's too much substances uh, in your bloodstream that you need more red blood cells to, to move these, these substances and wastes in your body. Decreased mental sharpness, you become dizzy. Like you're not as sharp as you will use used to be. Next slide. Muscle twitches and cramps. Um. Well, basically, um. There's a lot. Of, there's gonna be a lot of clots and swelling in your blood in your bloodstream, and in this case, your muscles won't get what all the need. Swelling of feet of ankles and ankles, persistent itching, uh, chest pain. This is when atherosclerosis happens near your chest or your heart because, because of kidney disease. Uh, shortness of breath, if fluids build up in your lungs, and high blood pressure, hypertension. That's difficult to control. Your, um, your kidneys control your blood pressure um, because they release the hormones to control it. All, your, your blood pressure is all controlled by the kidneys. And if your kidneys don't function properly, um, you don't want to re release the hormones that they need to. And blood pressure will be up and down, just like that. Um, also, vitamin D is going to be something that you lack. Uh, when you should you see a doctor? Well, first of all, you need to get blood tested um, to, to make to see if all of the blood content that you have is okay and that there's no excess waste. Um, so if you if you have any of the signs and symptoms of kidney disease, you need to get the checkup straight away. Um, if you have, especially if you have medical conditions that increase your risk, we will talk about those medical conditions. The next slide, um, such as diabetes, such as renal vascular disease. Um, if you have any of those, you're more prone to get kidney disease, and that you will have, you should see the doctor every now and then to make sure that there's nothing wrong with you. Uh, we're we monitor your pressure and kidney function with urine and blood tests during regular visits. Ask your doctor whether these tests are necessary for you. 
Next slide. All right, what causes this disease? Um, what could possibly damage your kidneys? Chronic kidney disease occurs when a disease or condition impairs kidney function, causing kidney damage. Diseases and conditions that cause chronic kidney disease. These are long-term kidney problems. Um, diabetes, we talked about this. Um, the, uh, your, the, the content of your blood is not okay. Uh, and that's why your kidneys need to do more work. And if you overwork your kidneys, they will get damaged. Same thing as hypertension. Hypertension, your blood pressure is, is big. And your, your kidneys cannot handle the pressure. Renovascular disease, we talked about this. It's the, the narrowing of the arteries to the kidneys. Your kidneys cannot access the blood in which cannot function properly. Okay, bad news. Glomerulonephritis. Um, this happens when there's an inflammation in the kidney filtering units. Um, as you, as you said, seen in the video, um, the point where the nephron meets with the with the blood art arteries, that's the filtering unit. It's an inflammation happens there. Usually, usually because of a virus or a bacteria, um, it can cause a huge disorder. And if your if your kidney cannot filter, then it's not doing its job. So that's why it happens. And interstitial is interstitial nephritis. It's kind of the same thing. It's an inflammation of the kidneys, tubules, and surrounding structures. So basically any inflammation or any bacteria or virus attack to the kidneys can damage it severely. And it can be really bad because viruses, um, we're going to talk about, uh, more, more about viruses later um, when we get to viruses and all kinds of uh, virus diseases. But they um, reproduce continuously and it could, could be fatal. Uh, polycystic kidney disease. Does anybody know what this is? Or from the name? Polycystic kidney disease. Uh, your kidney doesn't produce polycystic, probably, or something with poly in it. Uh, the, the word polycystic means many cysts. Does that give any clues? Gonna get and the cyst is um is uh like the one in the pimple or cysts are kind of it's it's like it's I say this like to, uh, tubule structures that carry around uh, air and fluids across your in your blood. Oh, what happens is is uh, these cysts build up in your kidneys and they clog the kidneys. And in that way, your kidneys are not function. Uh, prolonged obstruction of the urinary tract from conditions such as enlarged prostate, uh, kidney stone, and some cancers. Uh, an enlarged prostate is the, the prostate in your urinary tract, as you age up, it, it becomes bigger. And if it becomes bigger, um, your urine doesn't come down properly and it goes up back into the kidneys. And this is a big problem. Um, I don't know exactly what makes the prostate enlarge, but I've heard uh, what I've done, got from research is because of old age, they naturally become larger. Uh, so yeah, that's a, also a problem. Uh, would anybody like to have a guess what kidney stone is? Or does anybody know what kidney stone is? Well, uh, it's literally stones uh, that are in your bladder, I think, uh, that are made by the kidney and then yeah. Yeah. the blood. Yes, um, stones that build up, that I think, 
I'm not sure if it's chemical reactions or it's the food that you eat up straight away. But um, stones that are in your blood, when they enter the kidneys, they damage it because they're probably too big. Um, and in that, they damage the kidneys. And some cancers, uh, so I think you guys know what cancers are, but it's when, but just to make sure that you guys know of it, it's like when uh, cells reproduce, like, ex Cells develop uncontrollably, uncontrollable. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's when cells have an obscure amount of cells reproducing constantly, and they enter your bloodstream, and they circulate, and that, that's possibly fatal for you to, for your kidneys. Uh, Vesicoterial uh, reflux. reflux. Uh, it's a condition that causes urine to back into your kidneys. It's kind of like enlarged prostate. Um, yeah, and you, 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 you're, you can't urinate properly, and your urine goes up back into your kidneys. Uh, kidney infection, um, which viruses, bacteria, basically. Um, yeah. First of all, any, any, any questions so far? You can go back to the other side though, if they want to see anything. Any questions? Is everything clear? Or should uh, I go I think so. one thing again? Uh, I didn't hear you, but uh, I, I knew you said it, but I didn't hear you. What's this coronavirus reflux? It's when you you can't urinate properly. Oh, okay. You, the urine goes back up into your kidneys. Oh, it's just in there. Yeah. Next slide. Um, and I think, okay, we're good. Um, other causes of acute kidney damage. What is acute kidney damage? What is, what does acute mean? Anyone? Uh, like small or yeah, yeah, yeah. delicate. Short term, short term, basically. Okay. Like it, it happens straight away. Um, and, and it goes out quickly, so it's it's not that big of a deal, but you still, I think, uh, isn't acute like uh, without any, um, yeah, without any warning, just happens for no reason. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's not it's necessarily like, small. Uh, acute, acute things can be, can be fatal. fatal. Yes, fatal. Yep. Yep. It's oh. it's more like short term, or like it happens, like you just just happened. Um, there's no warnings, there's no nothing. Um, and it can be fatal according to its severity. Like if you spend like three days, that's why water is really important. If you spend like three days without water, your kidney just dies. <laughs> uh, because it needs the fluid, because first of all, your body needs the fluid and your kidney needs the fluid. Um, and so dehydration is can cause severe uh, kidney damage if you don't drink enough water properly. And lack of blood. Why would lack of blood be a, be a case? Or how would lack of blood, how does your body lack blood? Anyone? God. Okay. Um, well, if you get a cut or you got, you're severely injured, and you're bleeding uncontrollably or internally bleeding. Okay, blood loss. Blood loss, basically bl blood loss or genetics. It can be due to genetics where your bone marrow doesn't uh, supply your bloodstream with blood. It can be bad because, well, you don't have blood. There's no, there's no blood to circulate in your system and give the body what it needs. Muscle breakdown. Um, this is because, uh, muscle breakdown. Okay, mushy, mushy. <laughs> okay, uh, certain drugs or chemicals, um, like, it, for example, you, let's say you drink ink or <laughs> something that you shouldn't drink and chemical reactions can happen, uh, in your kidneys with the kidney parts 
and it damages straight away. Like anything fatal. That's why you need to really be careful. Like you don't drink or eat anything that you're not supposed to. Especially, like, and that's like, it's like it's like poison, basically. Poison just reacts with your with, with what's inside of your body and kills it. There's some things that the kidney is sensitive to and can form chemical reactions to, uh, which will damage your kidney straight away, and you, you could die from it easily. Um, autoimmune disease. Um, we talked. I, I just, uh, I bet talked about this once. Um, yeah, she suggested this as a topic. Um, from the name, can anybody tell what it is, or from what what we talked about last time? It's really interesting, to be honest. Hello. For the uh, for the autoimmune. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, I I can I can guess it's the immune system. Uh, but if I would take a, a more specific guess, I would say uh, probably when you're in, when like the immune system attacks like the whole body or a certain organ or organ of the body, yes. it attacks the body itself. The, the body attacks the body. Yep. When the immune system okay. t- turns around and tries to damage the body, it's not, I don't think it's. I think it's a mis- malfunction more than anything. But yeah, it's uh, it is something. Um, uh, hopefully, hopefully, if we can do a topic about this and feel free to take about and how this happens, we will and learn more about the details. Right, next one, your turn, Maya. So there are risk factors that increase your risk of chronic kidney disease, which include diabetes, uh, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, which includes the heart and blood vessels, and this is the combination of uh, heart disease and stroke. Smoking, just don't smoke, obesity, and uh, I don't know why and how, but if you are an African-American, Native American, or an Asian American, you are at greater risk of kidney disease. Uh, if you have one of your ancestors that have kidney disease, you may inherit it, abnormal kidney structure, and older age. Those all are risk, of, risk factors of kidney disease. Kidney disease can affect almost every part of your body. Complications may include fluid retention, which could lead to swelling in your arms and legs, hypertension or fluid in your lungs, rising potassium levels in your blood or hyperkalemia, which is life-threatening because it impairs your heart's ability to function, Uh, cardiovascular disease, weak bones and increased risk of bone fractures or bone break, Anemia, which is a condition in which you lack enough healthy and red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues. More complications include damage to your central nervous system, which can cause seizures, decreased immune response, uh, pericarditis, which is the inflammation of uh, the fibrous sac surrounding the heart. Pregnancy complications if you are a woman, irreversible damage to your kidneys, which will eventually require dialysis, which is filtering machine for your blood, or a kidney transplant for survival. Uh, to prevent this, uh, follow instructions on medications given by your doctor. Maintain a healthy body weight. Don't smoke. Manage your medical condition with, uh, with doctor with uh, doctor help. Uh, it's the end of the presentation. Thanks for your attention.